The world is in peril and if our planet had a voice, it would shout out the world, help. Life on our planet is under threat. The evidence of it has never been clearer. In August, Pakistan was devastated by catastrophic flooding. The unprecedented monsoon rain killed more than 1,500 people and left the inundated country with economic damages exceeding 30 billion US dollars. And within a month, a scientific study had concluded the high rainfall was likely increased by climate change. In my country, Shikjan, millions of people are going into winter without the shelter or livelihood. That is their fundamental right. Women and children are still looking to us to protect their basic needs, while entire villages are seeking to secure a precarious future with all of us such recovery hinging on a flow of resources that we are unable to guarantee. Moreover, the loss of jobs, livestock, harvests, houses and the closure of schools as well as rising food costs threatening to put between 5.8 and 9 million people in poverty, which means that according to the World Bank report, the country's poverty rate is expected to rise between 2.5 and 4 percentage points as a direct consequence of the floods. The climate crisis is not only impacting Pakistan, the overall rise in temperature has now threatened the island nations like the Maldives and Bahamas. A mere increase of 2 degrees Celsius in global temperatures would be a death sentence for the Maldives. Now, the Maldives is a country made up of almost 1,200 islands scattered across 90,000 square kilometers of ocean area. And with its low-lying geography, a rise in sea levels could put large parts of the country underwater. And the same situation stands for the Bahamas with the increase in global temperatures. The country is at the risk of being underwater if no urgent steps are taken to improve the ongoing climate crisis. We are entering a new climate era that will drive extreme geopolitical and economic instability. Statements without binding commitments or enforcement mechanisms have been used again and again as a way to postpone real action. I'm telling you to get smart and act quickly to address the systemic risk of climate change. Multilateral banks must play a crucial role in scaling up financing options that will provide real solutions. For more on this, with us on the broadcast is Robbie Reda from Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. He is the director of uh, South South North. Uh, thanks very much for being here. Uh, let me begin by asking you for your assessment of the way in which climate change is increasingly making its presence felt around the world. When we talk of climate change uh, and, and the, the climate change we, we are, uh, we're faced with now, we're talking about anthropo you know, climate change that's resulting from anthropogenic human interventions, basically the emission of greenhouse gases uh, globally from industrialization and other processes, from other economic processes. And this has you know, that the increase in greenhouse gas predominantly has been uh, as a result of Western development, at least initially. Uh, and what that is resulting is change in rainfall pattern and change in, in temperature. And that, and as a result of that, uh, many developing countries are impacted by this. And, uh, you know, the, the changes are, you know, frequency of of this uh, extreme weather events and and these changes, and also uh, severity of them. So it's it's uh, this this is essentially what what we mean uh, or or what what climate change as we're discussing it now is all about. Small small island states uh, in the Pacific, uh, in the Caribbean, and so on are highly impacted and they're quite aware you've seen leaders sort of uh you know uh standing in water bodies and uh, submerge and and making speeches because because it's it's a reality of 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 uh these islands and they will 
disappear with, in, you know, the, with increasing water levels. And this is with sea level rise. And this is not uh, even questionable. I mean, it's it's already happening. Uh, there's recurrence, like you said. There's there's major recurrent events. You know, droughts in uh, on the continent in Africa floods in other places, or, you know, it can, it can change around as well. There's floods in Africa as well. So it's, it's, these things are happening. And like I said, with increased temperature and, in, you know, with increased temperature and change in, rate, in rainfall pattern, predictability of climate and the intensity and uh, frequency of these events becomes more and more. And there is, the intergovernmental panel on climate change that sort of clearly puts uh, what's at stake and uh, what's happening as a result. So it's it's major issues to livelihoods, life loss, loss of uh, uh, you know uh, ec you know economic impacts and also existential issue in the case of small island. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.